Shannon, thank you. You know, competition for a new job can be fierce. Unemployment is down, though, and there are more jobs available. But how do you get an edge over the other guy when it comes to landing the perfect job? Joining me is Dan Fantasia. He's president and CEO of the executive search firm Treeline. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, I remember when I would send out my resume, and it would it would basically look like this. It would be two yes. sheets of paper, and you'd mail it in, and you'd cross your fingers. That's what right. is wrong with that traditional model? Well. First of all, in this day and age, it's more about an email. Mm. So it's an e-resume, but it's one-dimensional. And the challenge with a one-dimensional resume is hiring managers can't understand who you are. Mm. So the first thing that a hiring manager typically does after they re reviewed your resume is if they find that you meet the criteria they're looking for, mm -hmm. they'll go online, they'll they go Google to the web, you. they Google you. And right, they want and to they see search. what pops up from your Facebook page to your Twitter account. What do you, I mean, we know some of the major mistakes. You don't yes. want to be saying anything on these social media sites that you wouldn't want a potential employer to see. But what else do you need to be doing on some of these social media sites to attract an employer? Well, number one, you need to make sure that there's consistency among all the social sites that you're using. Mm. That's very, very important because if there's inconsistencies, then there's doubt. Where can there be an inconsistency? What do you mean? Uh, so, for example, if there's missing jobs on LinkedIn, for example, mm -hmm. as opposed to what you have on your resume, mm. what is the inconsistency? Why are they missing? Mm. And that always is disruptive to the interview process. You also talk about the fact that, you know, if you have a Twitter account, let's say, and yeah. you think that that would, will be useful, you should actually. Put a picture, not just have that little egg thing. <laughs> Taking a picture is one of the most important things this day and age because it helps people relate. It's the same thing when you're searching for a job. When you're searching on a company and you find a hiring manager, how great is it to see their picture and see who they are yeah, and try to even, connect? It's not even necessarily what they look like. It's just this idea of like looking into their eyes and seeing like, well, who is this person? Right? That's exactly right. That's Very exactly right. You know what's interesting is um, you hear this a lot. Forgive me, but uh, this, this is my reference, but on reality TV shows, you yeah. see people who have been living in obscurity who then get the idea that I need to take this platform and build some sort of a brand. That's something that we have seen from companies before, but now people are getting this idea that I am a brand. What does my brand mean? And you right. think that the average person needs to do that when they're searching for a job. Absolutely. Mm. It helps hiring managers and people just connect, especially this day and age when everything is done on the web, mm. right? You have two, 300 emails per day. Hiring managers are just trying to figure out more than what does the resume say, mm -hmm. but they're trying to figure out who is the person, what is the story behind this per person. And when you're doing that, I know that you have five points that you talk about. The first one, uh, when it comes to social consistency, you want people to be in concise, you want them to include that picture, track your efforts, and build your network. How does this pay off in, in dividends in terms of a job? Well, <clears throat> You know, in, in the traditional job search, you'd send a resume, it'd go into a black hole, and hopefully someone would call you. Well, this day and age, with social technology, you can not only send a resume, but now you can track. You can track your efforts. Mm -hmm. So if you send a resume to a hiring manager in a company, and then you go on LinkedIn and find that that hiring manager viewed your profile, well, now you have an audi active audience. That's so helpful. you should reach out. You should connect with them. I know that you have a step-by-step -step process in terms of software that allows you to walk through this process and build your brand. Where can people find you if they want more information? At, uh, www.treeline-inc.com. Treeline-inc.com. Treeline Dan, thanks for joining yes, us. Yes, thank you. Uh, over to you.